water is a very precious thing to all of us. Well, without this magical liquid, we all would die. The water is the prime element which is responsible for life on earth. No, not only for drinking, but water is used for so many purposes. It is used for cooking, washing, bathing and many other purposes, even for homes and outside. Now, most of the water we use is actually drawn from the ground to do all the work. Now, the groundwater that we use is replenished by the seepage of rainwater. That is, that the rainwater that comes down to the ground or to the earth's surface, it seeps in so that the groundwater level maintains a balance. But even after being replenished by the rainwater, why is that the groundwater level is continuously decreasing? There may be some reasons. Let's see what. Well, the first reason is the increasing population. You know, the population of the world in 2013 was said to be 7.125 billion. But it is estimated that by 2050, it will reach to 10 billion people on the earth. Well, that's a huge, huge number. Now, this due to increase in this population, there is an increase in number of houses, shops, roads, pavements, offices, and all the other things. Now look at this picture. What is happening is this, that this road is made up of mud, gravel, and pebbles. And due to the enough space between these gravel and pebbles, water is easily seeped into these layers of the soil, thereby increasing the underground water level. You can see, because of sufficient gaps in these uh, pebbles and gravel, underground water level is increasing. But nowadays, due to urbanization, the concrete or pitch roads that are being constructed in cities and towns, they do not allow water to seep in easily. So what is happening? We are using the groundwater level, but we are not allowing rainwater to seep in into the groundwater. Now this is resulting in depletion of water table. Now not only this, moreover, we also use a large amount of groundwater in construction and industry purposes. Now you know that large amount of farmers, they depend on rainwater for farming. But some years, due to less amount of rain or no rainfall, and even there are canals which go dry, groundwater is used in agriculture. So what can we see? There is, there is a large amount of uses of this groundwater. We are using it continuously, but we are not allowing rainwater to seep in into it so that it can maintain a balance. So what is happening? The groundwater level is depleting day by day. So as we know that the groundwater level is reducing, we need to do something for it. Management of its usage needs to be done. Now how do we do that? Well, whenever you brush your teeth, or you wash clothes or do any such thing, you waste a lot of water by keeping the tap on. Or even if you see uh, open taps or running taps near the corners of the roads, what should you do? Well, always turn off the tap while well, it is not in use. Even in your houses or even if you watch it at roads or on the corners of the streets, if you see running taps anywhere, you should turn it off. Now, one more thing which you can do is mop the floor instead of washing it daily. Well, mopping takes lesser amount of water than washing. So, you will save a large amount of water if you mop the floor daily instead of washing it. Now, a farmer can use drip irrigation method to water the crops. Now, what is this drip irrigation method? Now, unlike this sprinkler method or the surface watering method, this uh, drip irrigation method waters only that part of the soil in which the roots grow. So only that part of the soil is wetted in which the roots grow, unlike the whole soil profile. So using the drip irrigation method uses a very small amount of water to irrigate the crops. So actually what happens? Water is not wasted when we use this method. Or the farmers, if they use this method, water does not get wasted unlike the sprinkler or surface watering method. Now, 
Have you heard about rainwater harvesting? This is actually collecting the rainwater where it falls. Now this will help us increasing or replenishing our groundwater level. Let's see how. Well, what we can do is we can collect the rainwater from our rooftops through pipes and store it in a storage system. Now the rainwater that we have collected from our rooftops may contain dirty things. So what we can do? We can filter it here. Now we, after filtering, we can use some of its water for our domestic purposes. So what we are doing, we are using some of the filtered water for our domestic purposes. Now there may be a large amount of water left. Now what we can do, we can connect that amount of water in a pit in the ground. Now some water that we have harvested, we are using it for our domestic purpose and, this, and the leftover amount of water, we are connecting it in the pit in the ground. Now what will happen? This water in this pit will seep in into the underground level and increase the underground water level. So we can see that how rainwater harvesting is increasing the groundwater level. Now this method is also called rooftop rainwater harvesting method.